Hi, this is Bart Polson, and this video is a walkthrough for a chapter in Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. I've got the online version of his book right here at learnpythonthehardway.org. And if you click on the little tree right here, that will take you to the uh, table of contents, which is on this page. And the one we're dealing with right now is the appendix, the command line crash course. And if you were to click on that, it would take you to this page, and I'm using tabs so we don't have to wait for things. And then what we're going to do in this one is exercise five, which is change directory. And remember, a directory is a folder. It's a folder on your computer that can have other folders, it can have files. And if you were to click on that, it would take you to this page, exercise five, change directory. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to be over here in the command, uh, on the command line. I'm using terminal on my Mac. And again, you get to that. Uh, I do command and then spacebar brings up spotlight. Or you can click on spotlight directly and type in term, terminal. That'll, that'll do it. But uh, anyhow, I'm right here. And I'm going to follow Zed's instructions here. So he says, for instance, start with... Well, let's just actually do print working directory, PWD. So you see them in my home folder right here. That's users slash Bart. That's my home folder. And that's where my home folder is. And this is right here. This is on the Mac. This is called the Finder. It's called the, uh, I think, the File Explorer on Windows. And this is a GUI. It's a graphical user interface, whereas the terminal up here is a command line interface. They are two different ways of accessing the same information. Um, in fact, We'll uh, take a closer look at that in just a second. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to change directory. I'm going to tell the computer I don't want to be in the home folder anymore. Instead, I want you to focus on the temp folder. Now, I do that by just touching it right here. But up here, what I need to do is I do CD for change directory. And I'm going to tell it go to temp. Now, it needs to be a folder that is within or a directory that's immediately within my current working directory. I go one step at a time this way. And you see now, uh, to the left here, it says BP, uh, that's the name of my computer, colon temp. And that's the folder that I'm in. And then my prompt is the BART with the um, dollar sign. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go another step in. So now I'm here at temp, and you see I've got two folders in it. We're gonna go to stuff, by just doing, oh, by the way, Zed wants us to do print working directory at every point. And it, now you can see I've, I've gone one level deeper. Here I was at users BART. Now I'm at users BART temp. I'm going to go another level. I'm going to go CD space stuff. Okay. And when I hit return, you can see that it now says BP colon stuff. So that's my current working folder. And if I do print working directory, you can see I now have another level, user slash Bart slash temp slash stuff. So this is users and then it's Bart slash temp slash stuff. And I've got another one in there. I'm going to do CD into things. That's the name of the next level uh, or directory at the next level. And I'm going to do print working directory. And you can see that that one got added. I'll come down here. That's where I am. I've got a folder name in there named Frank. So I'm going to go CD Frank. By the way, please note that your capitalization has to match. The terminal is case sensitive. So I have to use lowercase uh, for the command CD. And I have to use lowercase because it happens that my folder, its name is all lowercase. But on the other hand, you see that users on my Mac, that has a capital U. And so these things matter. So I'm going to do CD change directory to Frank, which was within things. And then you can see right here that that's now my current directory right there. I'm gonna hit PWD for print working directory. And you can see it's just getting longer and longer. That's my path or the path to the current directory. I'm gonna go a little further. Let's come down here. You see Frank, I got stuff in there. I'm gonna do CD Joe, print working directory. There we go. I'll come down here to the GUI. And I got Alex in there, CD Alex, and print working directory. There we are, it's getting longer and longer. Then I'm gonna go within Alex. I've got another one called John, CD John. Remember, I'm going one step at a time. I need to specify something that's in the current uh, working directory or the current folder that I'm using. 
And now you can see here that it says BP, that's the name of the computer, and John is the current working directory. And if I do PWD, it's getting longer and longer. Um, now I'm going to start going back a little bit because John, I think, is as far as it goes. So I've gone as far as I'm going to go. Now I'm going to back up. So what I do is I do CD and then two periods, dot, dot. That moves me back one folder. In fact, I'm going to do that again. And this time, I'm, instead of typing it manually, I'm just going to do the up arrow like that. And then I'm going to do print working directory. And you'll see that I'm back two steps. I've gone from John back to Alex to Joe. And then I'm going to do it a couple more times. And I'll do it again like this. And you can see I'm back into things. We'll do a print working directory right there. And then I'm going to back up three at once. And so, and so I do dot, dot, slash, dot, dot, slash, dot, dot. Remember, the slashes separate the directories. And the dot, dot means to go backwards to the one that's before it. So now I'm going to go back several steps. And I'm all the way back to PWD, back to my root folder. Okay, so now we're back at the root folder. And in fact, if I do print working directory, you'll see I'm just right here in users bar. That's my home folder. So we've gone all the way out and we've come all the way back. Now I'm gonna show you that you can go out in sort of one fell swoop. What I'm gonna do is gonna do CD temp stuff things Frank, Joe, Alex, John. Let's see if I typed it all correctly. And it looks like I did. Print working directory, there we are, we're all the way out. And now I'm gonna back up many spaces at once. So we're gonna do CD, I'm gonna back up once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times, seven times, and I think that will do it. And that got me right back to where I began. So that's a way to go way out and to come way back. Now I'm gonna let you know there's another way to go out and back really fast. In fact, I'm gonna use my up arrow to go to the one where I went all the way out, the CD all the way out to John. So now I'm currently in John. See if I do the print working directory, there I am. I also can just do CD and on my Mac, I don't even have to type the tilde, I just do CD and with nothing else, it takes me back to my root folder, my home directory. Anyhow, let's see if Zed has anything else he wants us to talk about. Oh. One very good trick. You see that I have the graphical user interface, uh, the Mac Finder here down below me. There's another way to get way out here to John without typing everything in. And this is really helpful when you're gonna be working in a particular folder. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in CD, put a space, and I'm gonna come right here to this folder and then I'm gonna drag it into the terminal window. And check it out, it puts it there. And when I come back, it fills in the entire path and I can just hit return and I'm immediately into John. You see, I'm all the way there and I can go back like that. And so being able to do the CD space and then drag in the folder is a really easy way to get to any folder on your desktop. And then just as a reminder, now I've got this major mess in my terminal window here, all this stuff. If I wanna get rid of it, clear it out, there's two ways to do it. One is I can come over here and I can go to edit and then clear all, or I can just use the keyboard command, which on a Mac is command K. If I do that, voila, everything's nice and pretty and clean and I'm back to where I started. It's a great way to finish. Anyhow, that's it for CD change directory. See you soon.